Hey guys, me again with this Bali Star Trek pinball machine, and I, uh, I have some bad news for you guys. Last night we were working on this pretty late, we hooked up the Raspberry Pi, and we turned it on to test it, and all of the solenoids fired at once, and stayed on, and instead of turning it off, we tried to figure out what was going on, and it burnt out all of our solenoids. So. We went ahead and we finished everything else for this project, but we no longer have any solenoids. So it's going to be a while before we can post another video because we're going to have to buy all new solenoids and we're actually going to gut out the machine and rebuild all that stuff. But I can show you everything we have going so far. So here's a, we have a makeshift start button to start the game. And it plays the start sound normally. It would hit the ball release and put the ball over here. So we don't have solenoids, so we could just go ahead. As you can see, we have some sounds when you hit the pop bumpers up there. We have some sounds when you hit the slingshots. And if you hit all three pop bumpers, you can hear that other sound. Multiplier too. And of course, we lost the ball. Actually, since we don't have a solenoid and it sat on that sensor, it thinks we lost two balls. If we, balls. If we had a solenoid, it wouldn't be doing that. So, But as you all can see, everything else is working the way it's supposed to work. So. Let's go ahead and just give a broad overview of everything we've done so far, just to wrap up these videos. So as you all can see, we went ahead, we cleaned up our Pi circuit and mounted it down in there. So now we have all of our sensors coming in and plugging into the B side of our MP, um, MP3 chip, or MPC. MPC chip, sorry guys. So anytime a circuit's completed, the Raspberry Pi knows. Our outputs are still going to our transistor circuit. We just don't have any solenoids to fire with it. So uh, I've given you all enough information. Hopefully you all can figure that out and get that working on your own. If not, email me and I'll help you out. Uh, yeah, that's really everything. So if you all have any questions, shoot us an email or put a comment on the video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks, guys.